everybody. Uh, it's Rose. And I just want to let you all know that uh, if you watch all of my videos, then you have seen this video in another format before. Uh, there was a third diamond painting in the original video that I had to edit out because unfortunately it was not a legally licensed image and I didn't want to uh, get a strike on YouTube. So I am re-uploading the video with uh, just the two legal images. Uh, so if you have seen it, you don't have to watch it again, but you will now be able to uh, have the links to these two diamond paintings because I know a lot of you um, have been contacting me wondering you know, where can you find those links? Uh, and what happened to the video? And um, so if you haven't seen it, then uh, please enjoy. All right. Hello, Take care. everybody. It's Rose. And I'm here today to bring you three unbaggings from GBFKE. And just before we get into the unbaggings, I would like to remind you to please subscribe if you have not yet subscribed to my channel and ring the notification bell so that you always get notified when I publish a new video. And if you are somebody who just loves my videos and want to watch every single one, you can help me to make videos by supporting my channel with a $2 monthly contribution through Patreon. And the other thing that Patreon membership will uh, give you is an opportunity to uh, meet up with me and a bunch of my other patrons every couple of weeks when we get together for a Zoom video call. So those are always lots of fun. Anyway, okay, let's get right into this. So today I have for you number 632, number 633, and number 634. And number 632 is a big one. So I am making space on my table to open this up. Now, this is a diamond painting that I have long admired. Um, and... So I finally decided to get it, and I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be happy that I did. All right. So we have two kits, because it's a big one, uh, standard kits, just what we need. And here is the diamond painting. I call it the blue wave. Um, Oh, and I see that this is a diamond painting that's been done in the uh, technique of the image is printed on the canvas. Um, and then the, the circles for the drills are superimposed over top of the picture so that you see the original picture uh, behind the drills, which makes for, I think, a much nicer diamond painting than the ones that are just done by square blocks of color. I mean, those always look nice too, but I think these look better. So, um, I'm gonna take a minute just to flatten this out a little bit, and um, I'll be right back. Oh, but I just wanna show you here, look how perfect the canvas is. There's not even a single nail increase of any kind. There's just the, the soft um, rolling that was done. So, wow, this is a beautiful canvas. Okay, back in a sec. Okay then, so here is this diamond painting. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Absolutely love it. Wow. Um, okay, so we have 20 colors, round drills, the DMC numbers are marked on the canvas, uh, not on the drill packages. Um, let's take a look at the symbols. The 
Those look pretty good to me. Yep. I don't see anything that gives me any concern at all. Uh, I'll just go to uh, regular size, 1x. Okay, so let's take a look at the canvas. So there is a lot of multi-placing to be done, which is fine because I have some amazing multi-placers from Everlasting Tips. And I have found my sweet spot in terms of uh, what I use to fill my drill pens. I got some Quakehold Museum putty last night, delivered by Amazon, and um, took me a little while to, you know, get the hang of using it in a drill pen, but I love it. Uh, and it leaves no residue on the drills. And once I filled my pen and it was, you know, packed in there nice and tight, I used the same uh, amount for, I don't know, two, three, four hours without having to refill my pen. So um, I used the clear mu museum gel for square drills in my multiplacer and the quake hold putty in my um for my round drills i'm sh i haven't tried it with uh, square drills yet because i'm just working on round kits right now but um yeah the two quake hold products are awesome i tried the quake hold clear museum gel in uh, my multi placers with round drills and that didn't work um, I just, I could not get that to, to work properly and to hold the drills. Um, but, uh, it works fantastic with square drills and the putty works fantastic with round drills at least. So, um, unless you do just square drills, I would, I would suggest you might want to try some of the Quake Hold Museum putty, uh, and, um, I suspect that if it works with round drills, it's going to work with square drills. Uh, but if if you find you don't like it with square drills, you can switch over and use the Clear Museum Gel, also by Quakehold. Uh, yeah, it's it's making all the difference in the world to me. I love it. It I just love the product for for drill placement. It's great. And then, of course, I use glue dots in my single placers uh, because I find that they hold drills beautifully. Okay. So that is the canvas. Looks good to me. I didn't see anything that was difficult to read. Uh, I think this was a nicely, nicely organized canvas. Now, just before we look at the drills. Let's measure this. So it is 74 centimeters wide and 35 centimeters high. So that's a nice size. Okay. So in terms of the drills, uh, we have a lot of background. So there are a lot of these beige and light, sort of very light peach, very, very light peach. Um, what are these colors? 30, 33, 38, 66. Um, We've got number eight here that's 543. Um, yeah, we have a lot of the colors in that sort of light peachy range. Okay, so let's take a look at our drills. And um, one of our diamond paintings today is one that was sent to me by a viewer. Um, 
the link was sent to me by a viewer to try the diamond painting before she decides whether to buy it or not. And so I'll just take a moment here to tell you about the Rose Tries uh, series. Uh, it's just a little piece that I put into my videos. So what Rose Tries is, is that if there's a diamond painting that you are interested in trying, but you just don't know how it would turn out and you don't want to take a risk of getting it without you know, knowing exactly what it's going to be like, uh, you can send me the link to it. And as long as it's from one of the six stores that's listed at the bottom of your screen right now, I will try it for you. Well, in most cases, I will try it for you. I, I have turned a few people down because either, like in one case, I had already done an unboxing of that diamond painting, uh, and in some other cases, they were just diamond paintings that I didn't think would, um, would uh, really suit my channel. Um, but uh, generally speaking, I like to try diamond paintings for my viewers. It's, uh, it's, it's one way that I can uh, give back to you all. And uh, so you can just send me the link at ramblingrosedp at gmail.com. Tell me what it is about the diamond painting that has you a little unsure about it. And I will let you know if I'm going to order it to try it for you. And then after that, you can tell me if you're going to buy it. Okay, so um, those are the drills. I didn't see anything that was of concern to me. And uh, they all look nice and flat. So I'm very happy with these drills. I think I'm going to love doing this diamond painting. It's a winner. Okay, I'm going to put the drills away and I will be right back. Okay then, so uh, that is number 632, the Blue Wave. I love it. I was afraid that it would be a little on the pixelated side, but with this technique of printing canvases, you get such a beautiful definition to no matter what uh, image it is. So um, yeah, I really, really like this. Excellent. All right, let's do our next one, which is 633. And this one is a Rose Tries. Now, this is a Rose Tries for my viewer, Crystal Diamanda, uh, who by now, those of you who watch my channel regularly will know that Crystal sends me a lot of Rose Tries requests. And because she and I have very, very similar tastes in diamond paintings, um, I'm always happy to show her work. Well, maybe not always. There's, there's a few that I haven't shown. But, um, but I do like, uh, generally speaking, the same types of things as her. And so this was one that when she sent it to me, I was a little nervous. I wasn't sure how it would turn out because the image itself is really, really nice, as you'll see um, from the side-by-side -side here. But I was afraid that it would come out very, very pixelated. And it is a little too small in this size, I think. Um, I think this would be better one size up. The bird is just so beautiful in the original image and the mushrooms and just... It's such a pretty picture, and I just don't think that this size does it justice, unfortunately. Uh, so we have a, a standard kit, which is fine. Um, this has 18 colors, and this is the block method, the pixel method, I would call it, of um, creating a diamond painting. So whereas here on the blue wave, we see that the original image is drawn on the canvas and then the letters for the different colors, uh, the symbols for the different colors are sort of superimposed over the image so that you have all of the original lines from the image. Here you don't have that. The original image has been completely replaced by the pixels, which are the little squares. Hold on. 
let's uh, let's get down low and look at this, which is the little squares where each of the round diamonds will go. So you'll never get quite as smooth a finish. Now, as I'm pulling back from this from a distance, it looks pretty good. Uh, close up, it doesn't look good. But from a distance, it looks pretty good, actually. Not great. I, I don't like the stalks on the, uh, or the stems of the mushrooms, um, or the grass, or whatever that is. I can't tell what that is. Um, but um, it, it definitely looks better from a distance. But as you get closer up, you see the, like, the step nature of, of going up the mushroom. Whereas, let's just take a look at um, a small area on this canvas. You see how even though we have the drills um, that'll be placed on this canvas in straight lines, because the image has been drawn onto the canvas, you actually get the sense of uh, curved lines, not just the, the, like the, the pixelated lines that you get here. So that's what I like about what I call the, the what did I call that? I can't remember what I called it. Oh well, the other one, the blue wave. <laughs> I had a name for it. Now I forgot it. Okay, so um, so there we go. I do love the colors on this. I do love the bird. I call it the bird king because the bird is wearing a crown, which you just can't see in this image. So that's too bad. Um, that said, let's take a look at, well, first let's measure it. Okay, that said, let's measure it and then take a look at the canvas. Okay, so um, across it's 24 and up and down it's 34. See, now if this was 34 by 44, let's say, uh, so a 40 by 50 canvas, I think this would look fine, even like in this style. I think it would look fine. It's just too busy for for this uh, size for the drill area. Okay, so let us take a look at the legend. So it's a very, very simple legend. I don't think we're going to have any trouble with this. Maybe that N. It's number 17. Let's take a look at the canvas and see. So, so far it looks pretty clear. I, I will definitely be using a light pad for this. Um, I'm going to blow up to 2x just because, okay, so that I think is the N. Yeah, there's the N. It's not printed very clearly. I was worried that maybe the 7 would be confused with it, but it won't. So the 7 and the F, which are the two other uh, darkest blues, and the P, which I don't see here, it must be up above, um, those are the closest colors to the end. So, I mean, as long as you just keep in mind as you're drilling this, that that dark block of blue is N, um, I think it'll be okay. Yeah, this, I guess what I don't like about this block method, uh, or the pixel method of, um, doing smaller diamond paintings is that it really doesn't look organic at all. Like it's all straight lines and, and steps. And, um, and so I think for something as organic as mushrooms and a bird, that just, it's just a little, I don't know. Um, I just don't, I just don't think it's the best way that this could have been put together. 
Yeah, the only item that I'm having trouble reading is that N, and my eyes are already starting to get used to it. Um, so I wouldn't have any trouble doing this diamond painting. Everything else is clear. Yeah, I mean that crown, mm, you really can't make out that crown. Uh, even going back, it's tough. Like there's, there's no way to know that that's a crown on the top of the bird's head, which is why I called it Bird King. It's because of that crown. Oh well, okay. So let's take a look at the drills. Because for me, the main thing that I get out of diamond painting is uh, the joy of diamond painting. So if the drills are good, I'm going to enjoy a diamond painting. Like I'm gonna enjoy the process of working on it. And for me, it doesn't really matter if then I put it away and never look at it again except when I'm showing you my end of the year um, finishes uh, for 2021 next January. Um, for me, it's all about the time that I spend drilling the diamond painting. So far, I've only got one up in my place and I've got frames for two others. Uh, well, actually, I've probably got about 30 frames, but I ordered custom frames for two others. So I do plan on putting those up. And, okay. Oh, I was gonna say, I've never received a package of drills where there's no marking on the drill package, but there is, I guess you can see that there. Uh, it has DMC numbers, it's just really, really faint. So what I'll do with these is I'll put stickers on them uh, that have the symbol, and the DMC number, so that I'll be able to um, put these away later. Uh, yeah, I, I've never seen any that have the printing so faint as that. Um, oh well, what the heck. All right, let's take a look at these colors. I don't think I have any ugly diamond paintings to show you today. So we'll just go through the drills here uh, at a fairly quick pace. The drills look good. I have no qualms about the drills. I don't see any bad ones. They're nice and flat. Yeah, I know these are these are good. They look really small but I, I think they're normal. <laughs> I have no reason to believe that they're not 100% uh, regular size. It's just, I don't know, today I'm looking at them and they look small. I love the colors on this diamond painting. That was the other thing that when Crystal sent it to me, I had actually seen it and I was thinking of ordering it. But then when Crystal sent me the link, uh, and asked me to try it for her, it was an absolute no-brainer. Of course I would try it. These colors are wonderful. I love the colors. So that's another thing that makes me want to do this diamond painting. Uh, even if it's not going to look fantastic at the end, uh, it's going to be fantastic to work on. So, yeah. Okay, all right. So those are all the drills. And uh, I'll be right back after I put them back away. All right, so that is number 633, The Bird King, Rose Tries for Crystal Diamanda. Crystal, please let me know what you think of this. Let us all know what you think of this and tell us, are you planning on buying it? Um, I would love to know. Okay, we have the Rose Tries, number 633, the Bird King. Too small for the, the image. Uh, it just doesn't do it justice, which is too bad. But it'll still be one that I'm going to enjoy working on. 
And then uh, the first one that we looked at today was the Blue Wave. I love this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I will be delighted to work on it. Um, I just love it. And it's a nice size. It's not huge. It's not really small. It's a really, really nice size. I love it. Okay, so that's it everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. I want to thank Ali from GBFKE because he is the one who I work with to um, order all of the beautiful diamond paintings that I'm able to show you from GBFKE. And uh, he is just a super, super nice guy. And I'm so lucky to, uh, to have a collaborator like him. And I want to thank all of my patrons who so generously support my channel and all of my subscribers and viewers because you guys are why I do this. So uh, I hope you all have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to give it a like if you did. And do please come back is it with me tomorrow when I come to you with another diamond painting video. Bye-bye, everybody. Love you.